Good day and God bless. Welcome to Verses from My Car. I am Dana. Today we're going to read reflection number two from a little book called Dare to Journey. Reflection number two is about John 6.15. So, flip over here in the King James to John 6.15. And it is... When Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. So reflection number two, loneliness, the surprising way to a new openness. We are often afraid to be alone, afraid of what we may discover about ourselves when we stop long enough to be still. Afraid of the insecurities and sins that still lurk within us, even though we've tried so hard to supplement them. Afraid to face our insignificance, lack of fulfillment, and the eventuality of our death. And afraid to face the lack of closure and resolution of issues that we have tried so hard to square away. Yet we need to be alone, for we need to rediscover ourselves as much as we need to bask in the searchlight of God's love and light, to face our pain and lack of resolution with new hope and faith. In learning to be alone and still, we make a way to meet God with openness and honesty. It is there we can rediscover that we cannot blame our others or live in unreality. No one speaks of the importance of experiencing a loneliness that cannot be removed by any other sinful human being. For it is not with others that we should first, first of all turn. Instead, we should create the necessary space to meet with God himself. While we may fear this place of quietness and openness, it is the only road that will lead to a new life. For from new insights come new motivations, which give us new strength, and this will only come when we are loved, sheltered, and affirmed, as well as corrected by the one who truly knows and loves us. I think I'm going to like this book. I've liked them all so far. I don't know about you. I'm guessing you probably do. You might not agree with all of it, but it's always good to have another perspective. Even if you don't end up going with that perspective. You gotta look at all the different sides, right? I shied away from the King James for quite a while because that's not how we speak these days. But the more you learn about the King James and some of the other Bibles, the more you're probably gonna jump back to the King James. Anyway. We will talk about that eventually. <laughs> All right, so as always, let's end this with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right. Can't wait to see you for the next one. Have a great day and God bless.